Welcome to um, the Somatic Consent Engagement System. And we have done in the last three sessions before, talked about the polyvagal theory and how to create safety in our nervous system and um, how to find the bliss state in there. Then we talked about the uh, working mind and the meaning-making mind and how to self-regulate ourselves by activating our hands and releasing oxytocin so that we can literally drop back into our body and having a state, a change of state in our nervous system. Yesterday I talked about limits and boundaries, why they are important and how they work. And uh, I showed you a little bit, a picture about the somatic consent engagement system and the structure. Today I have another 11 minutes for the entire structure. Let's get started. So first of all, I would like to break down somatic consent engagement system. So we have I hope you can see that. So let's break down the first one of somatic. Somatic is divided in the sensory inflow. So everything that you can feel with your skin, with your body. So it is the inflow, it is sensory. And then we have the action. What is in the somatic nervous system the motor, so every action that you provide. The next one is consent. Consent, everybody knows now the word consent, but consent is an important piece to notice that there is either you have permission or you have an agreement. And that are two different things, permission and agreement. I'll talk about that more and later tonight in the webinar. And then we have the engagement system. And the engagement system comes from the poly, poly vagal theory about the social engagement system. And that's pretty much about the ventral vagus nerve, how we engage with other people, how we create safety with other people, how we um, uh, relate and making connections. Intimacy, safety, the entire shebang about that. So this is somatic, consent, and the engagement system. Now I wipe that off. You can, of course, watch that later again. Somatic consent engagement system is start with number one. So the important piece, as we talked about that, is with waking up the hands so that we have to come into our body, that our body becomes our base. And in our base, there's everything we have a right to and a responsibility for. Let us make that short. Right and responsibility for. And that includes as well as we have shared that yesterday, um, that we have uh, a right and a responsibility for our limits and what we want and our desire. And of course, other people has, have their own desires and want something from us as well, so that we have to have our boundaries of our base. And this square is defining your boundaries of your base so that everybody can see that hopefully so when you literally bring that down here your your base i hope everybody can see it so that your base is literally divided in when you with another person um, together that two bases come together about what your agreement is and what your relationship literally looks like and what you want to do and how long and so on and so forth. So that it's either divided in your action or it's their action. Yes, There's not much more when two people engage, either their action or your action. Of course, both can be in action, but I'll show you a little bit later about that. So, and then we want to divide that into the permission line and into the agreement line. 
and in the permission and agreement line when it comes to the sensory inflow about pleasure, who that pleasure is for, it's either for you or it is for them. How simpler can it get? It's really easy, right? So that you see when you look into that, that the base is literally creating your boundaries here and you have to have your boundaries together. What that pretty much looks like is the wheel of consent. Yeah, and it's true. I was a student of Betty Martin and the wheel of consent for six years. And I was uh, really grateful, I learned a lot. It's, it's an amazing structure. And I was always wondering, um, so when you see the wheel, there was in the wheel, uh, the door a little circle here, there was always in the wheel this place of the middle point here. And I was asking, so there's a zero point and the zero point had a meaning to me and I could not really explain what it was, but I felt something. And this was how the entire somatic concept engagement system got born of because I start to realize that there is a developmental structure in there. And this developmental structure is the same thing. Okay, let's wipe that off. Show whoop. The developmental structure is as well. This, take another color, is this point here in the middle. And this point is called the apex. And how to define the apex is a really interesting point. So when you take this structure, so the base, and put that into a three-dimensional model, you get a pyramid. I hope you can see that. So when you look from on top of a pyramid, you see that. And you have here in the, in the structure, you have here the, the base. And then you have here the rising angles of permission and agreement, how to engage and create an engagement. And when you have a lot, a ton of practice, and when you know how to engage and ask for what you want, and when you're capable in your base to express your limits and your boundaries, what you don't want, then you develop. And you develop here on top, and this is what I call the apex. And that's the interpersonal space of love and care and that's where we all want to be with another right so if we're not here if there's no love and care if we're not really connected to other people because we have no agreements or we have no limits we cannot express our boundaries then we probably go down into a place beyond the base what we call the shadows so you have underneath here the shadows. So if you can't ask for what you want, what are you doing instead? If you can't say no and can't express your limits, what are you doing instead? So there we have a lot of survival strategies. As we have seen in the Polyvega theory, our adaptive behavior to get our needs met. And this is how we all function. But if you want to develop personally and spiritually, we can actually allow our shadows or survival strategies to come up and forward. And this is what you see here. You have the shadow strategies in the engagement system. So here, the shadows, if you have no permission, and here you have no limits, and here you have no agreement and here you have as well no limits or no boundaries Ta -da! let's see if there's anything else that i want to share here yes the main piece is why this is so important because it's not a mental structure the mental structure is just, you see it like a map, as if you're getting lost somewhere, you actually know how to uh, get back when you have a map that you know how to use. And this is what it is. So there's, there's a ton of wisdom from so many systems in there that I have um, uh, learned over the years. But the main piece is the communication piece, 
how to create intimacy and connection to go up here in this place where we all want to be because from there upwards this is where real transformation is happening what is the bliss state everybody loves the bliss state i love the bliss state do you love the bliss state so if you love what i do please register for the webinar tonight it's at six o'clock live from stockholm um uh, there are i don't know 100 places all together there are probably 30 left or something please go there click it's for free if you feel like you want to donate something to develop that work further I really appreciate any kind of little contribution that you might want to give but mainly just come and join and ask questions just be there we practice part of the engagement zones so the engagement zones is um, not the shadow color the engagement zone the engagement zones is everything here so the entire thing that's the engagement zones and becoming really good in the engagement zones this allows us to go up here where we all want to be so communication is key in how to create consent related to permission and agreements so um, looking forward to welcome you there tonight and um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here live. There are a few of you. Good morning from Nuremberg. Hello. And um, if you just tumble over this video and you just watch the recording, thank you as well for your time spending here. If it's not too late, please jump into the webinar. If it's already too late, there's a recording that I might post. I'm not really sure. But there is on the weekend, the 10 week um, online training coming up the foundation of somatic consent where we just like learn all that in detail because this is just a little bit of that but the embodiment the somatic embodiment is literally the most important piece how to um, get that in your body so that when you are engaged with somebody else that you just know where you are at and um, but not from a rational part from a um, frequency of resonance in your body a vibration of embodiment of wisdom and from there you can literally create with other people because there's one something really important to say uh, and I'm really excited about that that Harry Fetter said that who created the three-minute game where Betty Mann created the wheel from where I created the somatic consent engagement system from the three-minute game is so simple that is hardly to understand for the mind and it's so complex that it's just, you can't grasp it all in once. So, but he says something that is really profound that is there's always something with another person you can do that both want. And that's the place up here. What is that you both want? And how can you find that, that everybody involved is winning? Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. See you later. Please ask questions like the video, whatever, the entire shebang. See you there. Bye-bye.